Kia Tom. Great to have you here today to yeah, thank you very much. share your story with the Dunedin Stories podcast. I'm very excited. Yeah. Have you done a podcast before? I haven't, no. I listen to a lot though. Awesome. And of course, we added uh, three cameras to it as well. Yes. Surprise! Yes, yeah, yeah I'm doing where to look. I'm, what I'm doing, I'll look right. <laughs> well, we're just going to have a nice, friendly conversation together. Thank you very much. I think um, for starters, to help our audience understand who you are and perhaps what you do with your, your day job would be okay. great. So I am the co-founder and uh, director of Crew Technology Recruitment, who are an IT-specific recruitment company. Um, and we've got offices in Dunedin and in Christchurch, um, and we have clients throughout the country. My role, being a co-founder and director, could be anything. You know, I could be fixing computers one day, buying a coffee the next, and helping clients find talent uh, another day. Yeah. So, um, as you as you know, being a co-founder, you have to do a lot. Um, so, um, yeah, it's it's great. I often say the general dog's body, I do everything that nobody else really wants to do, but that's yes. not t entirely true. Yes. We do get to have some fun because we, we are the leaders of the company. Yes, we do, yeah, and we've built some amazing relationships over the time we've been here, so it's great. Oh, then it's good. So, Tom, how did you end up in recruitment? What's a bit of your career pathway, if you like? Um, a career pathway in recruitment, um, I was backpacking around um, New Ze um, sorry, Australia, and I had a year's worth of money and I ran out in six weeks and I was ended up in Sydney and a friend of mine was in recruitment and he said, hey, why don't you try recruitment? It's very similar to sales. And I am, um, yeah, so that was it. Interviewed wow. a company and they offered me a job and after three months they gave me a visa to stay. And that was 2005. Wow. So, you know, 20, year, 20 years later. 20 years later. Mm. So you needed a visa and you do not sound Australian or like a Kiwi accent. No. Where are you from? Uh, oh, the long story. My parents are Irish, so I am Irish. But as you can tell from my accent, I've got an English accent. So I grew up in England. And so, yeah, I'm very, I really love neighbours as a kid growing up in England. It's on at 5.30 every day. The Australian drama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And um, so I always wanted to go to Australia. Um, so I was actually living in Germany, another long story. Um, and, um, and then I wanted to, I got to 24 and I wanted to go traveling. So then ended up going traveling. And that's how I ended up in, um, in Sydney, which is funny enough, you know, named this film in Melbourne. Yes. And I never made it in Melbourne. <laughs> Ramsey Street. Yeah. So did you bump into Kylie Minogue or Jason Donovan or... No, Toadfish. Toadfish. I bumped into Toadfish a lot. He was always out drinking in Sydney. I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. That's fantastic. Um, Jared Rebecki. Oh, man, yeah. The character's name. I don't know the actor's name. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I loved it. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, so... That's cool. Yeah. So you were in Australia. How did you make your way to Aotearoa? Uh, well, my friend and business partner, Corey Richards, um, he, um, he moved here um, a very long time ago and was working for another recruitment company. And I was visiting him quite a lot. And he just said one day, you know, why don't you try and move over here? We uh, give it a go over here. And I was young in Sydney and you know, had no, no ties there. And I thought I'd give it a go. I love New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, one day he said, why don't you set up our own business? And off we went, so. And Otaporti, Dunedin? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yes, and I love Dunedin, it's beautiful. Um, it's, um, it's been great to me and I, I think it's awesome. Um, it was never meant to be the long-term goal, but then I met a Kiwi lady. Yeah. And, and she loves Dunedin as well. So, you know, we've set up family here, built a house, got a dog. Yeah. You know, so it's all going well. Nice. So, building a business in Dunedin, um, and you've obviously got a COVID story, like we all do. Yes. Do you want to share in one of those moments, perhaps, and, and how you got through that in yes. the recruitment industry? Yeah, so for us, we were very lucky um, throughout COVID that our, um, we have a lot of work in the primary industry and education. You know, so we had contractors there and they were still going to work every day. Mm. You know, for recruitment, there's, you've got permanent and you've got contractors. Um, so our permanent business shut down. Um, there was no perm um, business happening throughout COVID, mm. but our contractors still went to work um, and we were able to grow our contractor base throughout that period. Um, so we were very lucky that we had that arm of the business. Um, we were in a good place at a good time and we grew crew pretty much throughout that. So um, we were very fortunate 
in the place that we were in. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. um, a lot of you know, a lot of hours put in, um, a lot of people behind the scenes doing a lot of work, but we were just in the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. and that helped us grow. But the people that were working for us were doing good things. You yeah, know? I remember. Um, you know, they were helping the industries, um, you know, in the health, prime industry, and in um, in education. So it was a, it was a, you know, it was a tough time, but you mm -hmm. know, we, we were able to get through it. Yeah, and now we're three years post ish. Uh, time yeah. is but just a concept really isn't it when yeah. we talk about COVID yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know your business is doing really well I believe you've taken out an award recently yes yeah um, yeah so another delight fast 50 to add to the collection so about yeah. three years ago we got 26 fastest in a growing company um, and then this year was 29th um, so it's taken over a three-year period um, and yeah, so it's um, it is really good. It's all the hard work that our customers are doing and what our team's doing. So yeah. it's good to go. And Corey and I set out a goal eight years ago of getting to the um, the day that they take all the winners to. And you know, and when we won it three years, the festival of growth it's called. When we won it three years ago, it was COVID, so we didn't we didn't go. Right. And, um, last year we didn't make the top fifty. We're like fifty fourth. Um, and this year I was in England, so I didn't get to go. Um, <laughs> Corey and Elgin said it was a great day out. Right. So uh, they let it So they did get to go. They, yes. You just weren't able to be there. I wasn't able to go. No. Oh, so, like, funny. My wife did say, we can fly back early, correct? And I was like, no, no, that would just be too bad. My mum would have gone mad if we did. You know? But no, it was a great day. And yeah, it's really good. It's a good award to win for the team mm -hmm. and to put their hard work. Yeah, mm. Oh, that's well. great acknowledgement. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Dunedin has um, made a mark in how your hustle has become what it is? Do you think there's something unique to Dunedin in owning a business? Yes, there is. It's very relationship based. Mm. Um, I turned up here coming from Sydney, where urgent meant the next day. Um, whereas in Dunedin, <laughs> urgent doesn't mean the next day. It just means you, you need to know about it and you need to do a good job. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and so I was on the phone. I sent me these CVs to these people. They said, yeah, well, and he said it was urgent. They're like, ah, come on, Tom. You know, yeah, we don't know you. So come and talk to us. Come have a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and let's meet. Mm -hmm. So it's all been about them relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so for, some, for me, it was knocking on doors and meeting people and growing them relationships. A lot of our clients are, you know, eight years in now. It took me four years for them to open the door to me. Um, so it's about trust and that relationship. They're very welcoming, um, but it is about knowing people. You know? mm. And it's about, you know, what's this homie guy doing trying to sell me people? You know, it's, um, you know you've got to know that the people are going to be here because you don't want, it's not very trans, transitional, you know, it's the people are here for the long term. So they don't want, you know, people just turning up and then running off again. Mm. So it's, yeah, it has left a big mark on me and be focused on building relationships that last forever you know right. and, and good for 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 the business though good for everything as well you know it's friendships as well as relationships and business yeah and i think there's quite a number of people that aren't from here as well that allow you to feel like you are from dunedin even though you're not here you've yes. got some good connections in that way yeah definitely the, um, the diversity of Dunedin is growing daily mm. um, and they're very accepting mm. um, it's yeah it's really really good you mm. know so I, I love the love the diverse culture that's here um, and the, the people that are here and they do they do welcome everyone mm. with open arms there's so many good networking events for everyone to attend to and thinking about meeting you today I was thinking um, you know about recruitment as an industry and and what you do and you find great people for great organizations and match them but then i actually realize probably a very large part of your role is attracting people to dunedin mm, yes because there is only so many people that live here already for the jobs that are on offer yes so you are a very much an ambassador an advocate out there outside of Dunedin, aren't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm a great advert for Dunedin. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not here from it. I've come from Sydney to get here, which is, you know, people go, why? How did you end up from Sydney to Dunedin? Yeah. Um, it's an East Coast city, you know, it's just the way how it is. Um, but no, it's, um, it is, you know, it's a lifestyle and, um, you know, it is a way of life here. You know, it's 
you finish at five, you can be on the beach. You know, I love running, um, which I'll probably talk about a lot. Um, and you know, I can go run in my lunchtime, run in the hills in, in the morning or after work. You know, if you like that, and that's great, but there's so much more things to do here, so much more things to do with a family. To bring people here, it's, you know, it's really, really good. And, um, yeah, to be an ambassador is, is yeah, definitely a good word because you know, Corey's not from, well, Corey's from Central originally. So he came back here. Mm. Um, you know, a lot of our team aren't from here. Mm. You know, they've come here, and so we sell to them very well. It's an easy sell, but we're competing with everyone else. Mm. Um, mm. Everyone else is short of people. Mm. Um, so it's bringing people to the Nenning is uh, is very very good part of my life. You'll be very invested in the new destination Dunedin plan that's coming out. Yes, yeah, I yeah. love their new advertising as well. It's you like cool. the Just Dunedin yeah. hashtag? Yeah. Nice, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. good. Yeah. yeah, we like a bit of self-deprecating language yes. yeah. Dunedin, don't we? Yeah, and, not, you know, and um, you know, taking the pee out yourself from this is what, what Dunedin people do very well. Yeah, it know? is, so, uh, it is. Yeah, it's, um, but you know, that's the thing about the relationships here is can't always be so serious. No. You know, got to be able to take a good joke. And that's yeah. why I think um, you know, Scottish and English and Irish fit in well here because they're very much the same, that black humour, yeah. um, dark humour, um, that, um, yeah, that, that they have over there and fits in well with Dunedin people. We've all got a good joke in our heads now, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, oh, and, yes. <laughs> hey, the, the recruitment industry itself, um, what's happening from an innovation perspective around that? What, what would our audience like to hear about, do you think? Yeah, in recruitment, you know, for us, innovation um, you know, happens with our clients. You know, we are, we, we are what they are doing in the market. You know, so that part of the role always stays the same, you know, job fills. You know, so, um, but we've got to work with them how they want to attract people. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the attraction and retention. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of recruitment companies don't work on the retention side because you know they're you know they be they're seen the wrong way in in recruitment. Um, for us, a good client is you know someone that there is no turnover. You know they you know it's new projects that are being built and there's you know it's not just a revolving door. So we work on retention strategies of our customers. Um, we work on attraction strategies of our customers, yeah. um, and we work on how how best to do that. You know, with us being quite small organisation, we're very we're able to adapt and do things differently. Um, but in recruitment, everyone's trying to change. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's trying to be different, um, and everyone's trying to make it an easy, easier run. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it's about connecting, mm -hmm. connecting people to the right job at the right time, and building their careers. So, you know, innovation is technology-wise, we can make things easier. But it's the relationships that are always going to be key for us. Yeah, AIs are used a lot. It's helping us with writing ads. It's helping us with finding candidates. So LinkedIn have um, put it um, in their search engine. They've taken away from Boolean search and using um, AI in their search engines. See if you're using it. Um, you know, so all of that AI is getting uh, adopted into the industry. Um, but you know, that's only as good as we make it. Yeah, I think there's certainly some concerns around the ethics of that isn't there, and making sure that any automation is designed in a manner that isn't, um, you know selecting candidates in a particular way that mm. you know doesn't give the same equal opportunities to yes. others yeah yeah and i'm seeing internationally some recruitment agencies charging candidates mm -hmm. for the joy of being a candidate yeah. so there's a, a financial model yeah i'm pleased you said that yeah. i thought you might yeah no it's um you know it's it's about Again, for us, finding the right role for, for the candidate, mm. but you know, our, our relationship is with the customer, the, ca the client, to, to fill that. Mm. People are charging candidates, that's, you know, it's not America, and I know they do it in America, yeah. um, which the headhunting gets paid, um, which is a different model, but yeah. it shouldn't happen here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What about anything that you're, you and your crew are cooking up for local change or anything like that that um, you want to share? Well, there's a lot going on, um, you know, um, Courtney and Jade, um, who work for us, have set up Compute Hub, um, which is a, um, a a networking event for women in tech, um, and doing that with Kylie from Datacom. Um, tech Brews is happening every quarter, um, but you know, there's a lot going on from the crew. Um, we are about to become part of the largest technology recruitment company in New Zealand. Wow. Um, we're, we're merging with an organisation in um, out of the North Island. Um, which will be happening. Um, yeah, it should, should have happened. Sorry. 
<laughs> right. Is that, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah. So we're that's happening right now, um, and is really exciting for us as an organisation. There's a lot of hard work's gone to this point, and uh, the growth was really important to us. And um, Potential is the company, and you know we align quite a lot with with them and their people, and they're going to help us grow. But also, you know, we want to be the best and the biggest IT recruiting agency in New Zealand. This helps towards that. Now it's just getting the best part, mm -hmm. um, and so we are looking at you know um, making sure that we're do things better, grow better, and are a great organisation. That's awesome. Mm. So your footprint from a crew perspective will grow outside of Dunedin and Christchurch? Yes, it will, yeah. Wow. National. That is uh, fantastic. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah, really excited. Congratulations. Two, two lads from the office next door. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we're upstairs in a room smaller than this, um, you know, with, uh, with just two desks and a telephone yeah. um, eight years ago. So, um, yeah, we're very excited. Um, and it's just, again, testament to our team. Mm. You know, they're, uh, they're a really, really good team and they've helped us get to this point now. Well, I have to say, you look remarkably relaxed mm. and fresh and not stressed at all. No. So there must be some secrets there. What do you, what's your secret to I don't know, switching off and, yeah. and not getting the stressed issue that we uh, business owners are known for. Yeah, running. Um, running. Yeah, I, I love running. Um, I do it every day before work as much as I can. Um, I'll, yeah, probably four or five days a week I'll be out running um, and it just helps you get my thoughts in the right place. I learn, I, I listen to podcasts, um, I listen to this one, this will be good. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so I get my head moving, I get to understand what's going on. And then it's um, having a great home life, you know, having good friends and good family around you. You know, try not to bring work home. Um, yeah. But, you know, as a business owner, it's about balance. There is no work life balance, mm. and it's balance, mm. um, you know, so you just make everything work together. Um, if, you know, if you try and separate the two, quite hard mm. um, so I'm the same person in work as I am at work mm. um, and I was just just who I am yeah you know, so you know I am a crew um, but I'm a great team and a great family man. I got called Mrs Firebrand today so yes. don't worry I, I get <laughs> yeah, it yeah, Mr yeah. Crew totally yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have a favorite spot that you run to is there a location uh, in mind that's the end point yeah oh, i just love three peaks the run yeah. um you know so i love running around there. it's my training ground um you know when i'm doing like big events i'll always go around um signal hill um pineapple track and um, all them areas um, yeah you know, i love it all um but i live in waverly so um you know and so i get to the carrot quite a bit um mm. and then you know run the harbor when i can um, but it's too flat for me now, so I like to run in the hills. That's a few k's you were clocking up if you're going to those three different locations. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but, you know, um, when I'm good, I'm, you know, 50, 60 k's in my sort of area I like to run. Wow. Um, but, you know, it's not always like that, so no. I'm not always that fit. No, you'll be twice a year I can do them now. Yeah. Very heart fit though, that's yes. great. Yes, yeah. Well, I think that kind of helps with the next segue into questions a little bit about Dunedin. So that's your favourite place to go and run off your yeah. your stress levels and do a bit of thinking. What about Dunedin locations? Let's say a friend or a family member's come over from home and you're mm. wanting to show them a quintessential Dunedin experience. What yeah. would that be? Um, well, obviously Emerson's. Um, it's always there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't drink anymore, but they're doing great zero beers. Um, but they, um, yeah, it's always, it's a, it's a beautiful spot, you know, and um, great food. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, most people do like a pint, yeah. you know, especially from where, where my family are from. So they always go there and, you know, they get to try the beers. Yeah. Um, but you know, coffee-wise, I love the swan. You know, they always take people to the swan for coffee. Yeah. And I'm, I'm the, uh, you know, if I didn't eat pizza, you know, um, I'd be a much fitter person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you can eat the pizza because yeah. you do so much yeah. running, isn't it? Yeah, I had Essendon Island pizza last night and I'll yeah. try and probably have it too often. Um, the pizza picante, ah, best pizza in the world. And their chips are <laughs> top notch. Um, so they're the, the three restaurants I'll go to um, yeah. when I'm here. But like, you know, I'd like to take people for, you know, the John Wilson Drive walks, beautiful. Mm. Um, you know, the, the, you've got family and go out there and, mm. you know, no matter what, who's, who's with you. Yeah, they can. They will love that walk. It's a beautiful view, isn't yeah, it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and any yeah. fitness level can do it. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, and then just like driving around, you know, 
Bourbon Street's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I've got had a, we got married three years ago and all our family came over um, and yeah, they went to Bourbon Street a lot, like just running up and down it, not very far. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. A family of runners. Yeah, yeah they loved it. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, there's so many good things to do around here. The botanical gardens are amazing. Mm. Um, you know, but yeah, it's just it's just a beautiful spot. With a nine month old, you probably haven't found yourself too much involved in the family orientated mm. calendar of events. So probably not Santa parades or anything like that yeah. as yet. But is there an event that's quintessential to Needham that you always make sure is in your calendar? Um, yeah. Three peaks, right? Um, you know, so I started running um, during COVID, and um, I wanted to do a, a, a marathon before I was forty. But so I'd sign up to the Core Rush Church marathon, and um, but that got cancelled. So I carried on with training, ended up doing Queenstown that year, and then I did Three Peaks um, from that was in November. Then I did Three Peaks that year. So I've done it every year since, wow. and I'll do it. I'm um, hope. I've, I've actually done for it in camera. But it's holding to do three peaks plus one, um, but I'm not sure like, if I've got the legs for it at the moment. Um, but that's something I want to do. But I love three peaks; it's the the best event. That's um, awesome. In in the calendar, but with my daughter, I don't see that's going to change. Cause yeah. We do other things, but at the moment, it's still in the calendar this year, <laughs> the next year, March. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, then that's great. Um, and what about the question? I know that a lot of our participants have thought, oh, this is a tough one. Mm. Is there a Dunedin legend or somebody that you are familiar with from Dunedin, maybe, that you'd like to share a lemonade or a Ocho hot chocolate with yeah. to, uh, you know, shoot the breeze? I'm sitting in the bottom, really. Oh, oh that's very kind. <laughs> um, now, being here for eight years, I don't really know too many um, Dunedin legends that they're in. business-wise, I've met a lot, um, you know, and they're all so um, welcoming. Um, sport-wise, you know, I'm, you know, I'm Irish, so I don't, I don't think you've got any rugby players from it. Um, <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> no, but yeah, there's some inspirational people from here. You know, the early settlers and, and, the, and yeah, people like that, I love history. Um, mm. So just to see what Dunedin was like, 200 years ago would be pretty cool right. um, to you know, sit down and talk to people like that. Yeah. But I'm just, I just love learning from people. So um, mm. I'd sit down with anyone and have a coffee and, and shoot the breeze and find out what's going on and what it's like for them and what their Dunedin story is. Yeah, no, that's cool. Mm. Um, what's cooking in your future, Tom? So we've talked about potential. Yes. What, yeah. what else is cooking in the in future? Marriage, um, it's happening. Um, I'm... I'm moving to Christchurch. Wow, um, that's yeah. happening in the future. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's happening next year um, for family reasons, um, but also business-wise, we've got an office there. It's good, but my um, my in-laws live in Greymount, so it's easy to have them close by. Mm. Um, Dunedin will miss you. I'll be good, you know, but I'll be here a lot, you know. So um, it'll be, you know, now I travel to Christchurch quite a lot, um, but it'll be the other way around, mm. um, you know. So I'm. Yeah, so I won't, I'll still be here and I'll still be doing the events and I'll still be part of the community. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's community is important to us and, mm. you know, it's part of me. Yeah. Um, so I'll always be coming back. Uh, but yeah, the um, future for us is growth um, and, you know, making sure that we're doing a good job and that we're helping others, you know. So we want to make sure that, you know, we are building a better future for our community. So it, mm. that's the growth and the future for us. Mm. So before you go mm-hmm. and leave Dunedin, yes. if you had the power to make one change for us here, what would you like to do? What would you see that being? Um, it's not so much a change, it's more about um, keep doing it, like keep being welcoming. Mm. You know, um, you know mm. yeah, there's a lot of, um, yeah, in the media and stuff like that, there's a lot of separation going on. Um, but Dunedin is so welcoming. Um, mm. You know, they need we need people to come in. Mm. Um, we always need more people. You know, not just the hospital build, but like everything. All the companies around here need to grow, and to grow, we need more people, and that brings diversity. Um, so being more welcoming, no, keep being welcoming, keep allowing diversity um, here, mm. and keep. You know, keep growing is mm. what I want from Dunedin, and I think it's important for us. You know, everyone talks about hospital. Hospital is good, 
but there's so much more around that mm. that we need to grow and keep. Yeah, you often hear people say, oh, don't tell everybody. We, we don't want them all to move here. We want to be a secret. Mm. It's, it's, yeah, I, I agree. We need to be really focused on attracting the right types of people yeah. that want to be a part of what Dunedin's about and grow businesses. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we need to attract a lot of people and yeah, and to shout from the rooftop. Yeah. Some great people here, some great companies, some massive stories. Yeah. You know, let's tell everybody about it, you know, um, rather than keeping it, you know, little old Dunedin, you know, big Dunedin. Yeah. We've got some big stories there. Yeah. Wrap up, mm -hmm. where do we find crew? And any last sort of message that you'd like to share with the Dunedin store audience? Uh, crew, we are crewconsultant.co.nz online. Um, we've got... Um, Instagram, Facebook, and um, on the corner of this street, 469 Moray Place, if you want to pop in and say hello. Um, but also um, messages, just like, yeah, I love what you do. Um, you know, this is a great, I've been talking about a Dunedin podcast for so many years, and I'm so glad that someone's done it. Um, so it's awesome, and we're just, yeah, we're just happy to be part of this Dean Dean story. Oh. You know, and there's so many good stories out there, and it's awesome to be here. Thank you. Yeah, we've been talking about it for far too many years yeah. too. So now that we've started, we have yeah. to keep going. You have to keep going, yeah. Well, look, I really wish you all the best on this next awesome phase yeah. in your business. Yeah. Move to Christchurch, which is, you know, a little bit disappointing as well, but yes. we get it, we yeah. understand. Merger with Potentia. Mm -hmm. And we really look forward to seeing what crew looks like in another year's time. We'll have to have you back and, yes, and have a recap. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Thank you for sharing your story, Tom. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, Jeff.